Freshman page, guarding the post, getting 12 rebounds, um, staying in the paint, getting four or five blocks. I don't think that could have happened my freshman year. So to see the turnaround and and just the body of work that I've done for my body in the weight room, um, in my nutrition, in my sleep, um, and see all of that hard work pay off in, in that way, it's just really rewarding, I would say. Um, but... Yeah, I think that was the main thing that Carter, that sort of like I really thought about and reflected on. Paige, I said that you were her roommate here for this uh, this tournament. What were some of those conversations like, knowing how much pressure was going to be on her, how much would be demanded of her? Yeah, um, ever since me and Ice, we had our injury journey kind of sort of during the same time. Um, and we just got so close through that time, just leaning on each other, leaning on each other's strengths. Um, but also we built our faith together. We started going to Bible study together, going to church together. Um, and I just told her God's timing is always perfect. Um, she's had a lot of ups and downs through, this, through the season, inconsistencies. And being a freshman at UConn is hard, and I've told her that many many times. And just to see her growth and just talk about the timing of her having to be at her best um, in the biggest moment and her stepping up to that plate and being confident when everybody on the team believes in her, everybody in the coaching staff believes in her. Um, so just instilling that confidence within her um, and making sure she makes the most of the moment uh, was a conversation we had a lot. How much of a difference can she make going forward if she can play like this now? Yeah, it's huge. Then we have like two consistent forces in the paint. Um, Aliyah's had to carry a lot of the heavy load. Um, so hoping to get her back for the tournament, but to have another piece like that um, off the bench is, is crucial. Um, especially if Aliyah gets in foul trouble or her nose is bothering her or something like that to know that Ice performed on the biggest stage like this it's got to be a huge confidence booster for her as well to keep on building on this um, the rest of this year and then leading into next year. But it's it's a huge addition before the tournament. It's being kind of backed into a corner where it's such a thin rotation with these last two days, did, did that help you guys forge almost a new identity? I mean, you, you were ferocious and it was sustainable as a turn. Yeah, it, it made us hyper-focus, hyper-lock-in and be super attentive um, in the details of the game with the scouting report, um, trying to keep ice in the paint um, and switching out on the guard, switching out on the posts. Um, and it really just made us band together even stronger, play with so much energy and so much passion that it became contagious amongst everybody. And when we play like that, we know we're a, bunch, a much better team and locking in on defense was the main key. But I think having Aaliyah out, having everybody who was out, out, um, just makes you just lock in even more. You left a little blood on the court, huh? Yeah, I got a little bloody nose. I feel like Aaliyah. Definitely not the severity of Aaliyah, but... <laughs> you were good breathing every, everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just a good hit. Of course, they didn't review it, but... Oh, well. I said that it wasn't so much coach's game plan to feed the ball inside to her early, but the way you and Nika just saw things. And did, did you want in the back of your mind to get her going early and just build some confidence? Yeah, it's huge to start a game off strong like that, um, especially for Ice, uh, to get that confidence booster right away, and then it fuels her the rest of the game. Um, but, yeah, we were just taking what the defense was giving us. Um, I think Aaliyah had a huge game last time. George, we played Georgetown at home. Um, so knowing we could get into the paint, um, ice could make a difference there. Uh, it did, wasn't really a focus, but it just happened naturally. You seem like you're on another level right now, nine out of your last 10 games, 20 points or more, some 30 sh thrown in there. Do you just feel like you're locked in or just – do you just feel really confident or something different right now? Yeah, I'm just trying to, I guess, get in the March mode of when I go home, survive in advance, um, doing everything the team needs me to do to win, um, being aggressive, um, and then leading out to my teammates and getting them open looks. But just trying to set the tone of what March basketball is, what April basketball is, what tournament time basketball is. I, I've been here before. Nick has been here before. Leah has been here before. Um, the other guys haven't played in the environment and situation like this so just trying to lead by example in the passion and the hunger that I play with um, because that's what takes you far in March. What are the different things opposing teams are trying to do to knock you off your game or wear you out or clearly not much is working but you must see a lot of different attempts to disrupt what you're in. Yeah I think playing physical is like the most consistent thing I've seen teams do um, defensively 
Um, and then teams, when I'm on defense, try to attack me and try to get me out of foul trouble or get me into foul trouble. Um, and usually I'm guarding a post, so trying to take advantage of that mismatch um, and get me out of the game of foul. So being physical for sure is a lot of what I see on defense, especially because I try to move so much. So from not having to run around guarding me the entire possession, they can just push me out and try to keep me in one spot. Um, but definitely being physical, being like picky with their hands, trying to get the ball, um, and then also just not letting me catch it, um, trying to be in denial. You are locked in like you are right now. Do you feel like you're not going to miss or like you can't be stopped because you look like you're playing with that confidence? Sometimes I feel like I'm on a heater and then I'll miss three shots in a row. I'm like, I need to start making some again. Um, but just my shots go in when I'm confident and I think it's going in before I even shoot it. So just try not to overthink. Um, I put in a lot of work to be where I'm at and just trusting my work. Um, and keeping my faith that everything's going to work out the way it's supposed to. Um, gives me a lot of confidence. There's just no doubt in your mind no matter how many players you have available going forward, you guys can rev it up for every game. No thoughts of being worn out or playing too much, any of that stuff. That goes out of your mind right, with each game. Yeah, especially in the tournament. Um, when we had the game after Aaliyah, we were like, all right, 80 minutes, and that's it. That's all we have to give. We have to give everything for 80 minutes. After the second game, we're like, all right, 40 more minutes, all we have to give, and then we have two weeks off before our next game. So no thoughts of being tired, no thoughts of fatigue or anything like that because – Everybody else is in the same position, playing three games three in three days, or Georgetown actually playing four games in four days. So nobody is making excuses. Um, we just continue to deal with the blows and continue to keep fighting. And now it'll be two games. It'll be two games at a time anyway. Mm -hmm. Before you get like four or five days off. Yeah. So it's better. <laughs> yeah, it's, it'll prepare you for sure. Do you welcome the two week break, or do, would you like to just get back out there like nah. in a week? I mean, I could play a game if we, if we had to, but I'm looking forward to a little break. Um, I haven't played. Well, I guess the Cayman Islands. Um, we played. I think I was it three games, three days or two games. Um, but this has been a lot of minutes, a lot of physical games a lot of minutes um but yeah i'm excited for a little a little time off but ready to get back to work too i feel like you showed that you're capable of playing defense as well as you talk about it. a lot of people have heard you talk about your pride in defense and you're really playing good defense right now well, thank you. I feel like I'm, I don't really get talked about on the defensive end, but I feel like my presence is felt in the game, which is more important than anything anybody could say about my defense. So it's, again, just me trying to impact winning, um, me taking pride on the defensive end. It's easy to be offensive superstar if you take breaks on the defensive end. So I want to be a two-way two -way player um, and impact the game more than just the offensive end. And I really take pride in that. I've got a lot of work to do. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm an all-world defender or anything, but I work hard at it. Um, and Did I take pride in. <laughs> I mean, I'll say it about myself, but I, I know I'm realistic enough to know. Um, but yeah, I take pride in it, so I'm, I'm glad the blocks and seals are sort of something I can show for it.